If y'all looking to become a comp ISO guard in NBA 2K24, well look no further. We have the long-awaited Guard Academy Part 2 in full effect this video, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned because it is gonna be a banger video, yeah, yes, bro. You too, what is good with child? It is 2K made Aqua here, and I am back with another Yo, bro, y'all already know by the title, by the thumbnail, I got y'all with the ISO Academy Part 2, bro. Long awaited, bro. ISO Academy Part 1. That video absolutely went crazy. So, shout out to all of y'all, bro. Shout out to my Nodi gang as well. But in Part 2, okay, I know a lot of people. I just dropped a Dribble Academy video, like a Dribble tutorial video. But I'm going to be going over some of the best Dribble moves, how to combo them up, how to use the dunk meter. Basically, just how to get open on the ISO. Okay, I went over my build last video. I went over my jump shot last video. So, if y'all do want my jump shot and my build, go over to my ISO Academy part one i will link it down below in the description but this we're just gonna go over like kind of the basics and kind of the secrets of isoing okay so this is gonna elevate your iso game to a whole nother level trust me bro but yeah, before we get into this shout out to this person right here for being subscribed to my Nodi game and also 86 percent of y'all are not subscribed to me so if y'all click it down below subscribe to me i would greatly appreciate it bro yeah well further ado man i'm gonna show y'all a full gameplay so let's get into this full gameplay and then i'm gonna show y'all how to use the dunk meter because it's probably the most broken thing in this game okay so let's get right into this game number one as you see this man is afk what is you doing bro hold on i'm gonna wait for him to come back bro like is he gonna come back or not i'm gonna just take the dunk bro i just take my little dunk bro get my two points hopefully he's back next possession i see i'm not gonna lie this man was definitely plugging in his mic to talk to me bro definitely bro. yeah i already know i can't hear game chat but this man was definitely talking shit plugging his mic talking shit to me bro yeah that's how it goes but you see a dunk oh my this man's body i was about to say bro that's and one that man just fouled me straight up that man me mugging me that man trying to take my lunch money something bro that man was just full on just grab me push me out the way bc step back Dang, bro oh my god bro that's a crazy killer move right there bro that behind the back step back yeah i'm not gonna lie everyone needs to add that to your bag later on in the video i'm gonna show you the best once again the best combos ac dunk me <laughs> once again little boy get off me bro i'm moving out here like john morant bro you see momentum behind the back misdirection behind the back oh my god as you see dang bro i'm not missing coach 100 percent from three you see top right yes sir y'all know my body i know i'm coming all 2k24 bro we putting y'all onto the best and you see and one bro and one again this man is fouling me i'm gonna get him to foul out bro i'm gonna get him to foul out you, this man is talking against you this man was talking shit crazy to me is he okay bro i respect it i respect it og i respect it bro you, you can have that one block bro i respect it bro that was a good block i'm not gonna lie but you leave me open on the mid range y'all know you know i made this build specifically just to shoot the middies bro i got hall of fame open looks bro come on stop playing with me ac step back behind the back into the three. Oh my god this man still hasn't learned he hasn't learned my body oh my god but you see i'm a little l2 cancel right there go to the basket y'all already know that's a free dunk meter hey green light coach green light but you see all i need i need four more points bro four more points i got a style on them bro y'all already know i'm not taking two twos i'm taking a three bro okay but you see i might take a little hard two but i'm ending it on a three bro y'all know two guy made aqua he ends it on threes every single time, bro. No rim runs around here. We're ending this bit on a three right here. How you see? This man is leaving me open. I'm about to pull up. Pull up. Oh, my. Behind the back again. <laughs> I got takeover. It's over. <laughs> it's over, bro. That was an easy game. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to do a tutorial on how to do the dunk meter. Okay, the dunk meter is very simple to use, yet it is very effective. So this is how you to do the dunk meter right here. As you see, you're just going to hold turbo like you're going to drive to the basket. And all you do is you flick your right stick up and then you hold it down immediately after. Okay, there is a delay. So you're going to have to learn how to time it. But once again, all you do is you hold RT while you're driving to the basket. You flick your right stick up and then immediately after you flick it up, you hold it down. Okay, so run right here and run to the basket, flick it up, hold it down immediately after. And you have to time it perfectly most of the time. Okay, if there's a defender in the paint, you do have to time it perfectly. It is pretty hard. So I would definitely recommend going to the Gatorade. But once again, all you do is you hold your turbo, run to the basket, flick right stick up and then hold it down immediately after you flick it up it is very simple yet it is very effective so i definitely recommend learning how to do the dunk meter because that is how you can catch contact dunks you can cheese it get a free two points every single play okay i know a lot of people last video also they were asking for the best badges okay i said i was gonna show them last video but i lied bro i forgot to show them so i'm gonna show you this video okay these are the best badges and keep in mind i literally just made this build so none of the badges are actually maxed out bro i probably have a lot of bronze silver badges mostly none of them are maxed out okay so i'm gonna tell y'all the most important badges okay chase down artists for c tier badges c tier badge right here chase down artists and rebound chaser okay so chase artists 
boosts the speed leaping ability of a player when chasing down. So that's how you get chased on blocks. That badge is very good, okay? I only get a bronze, but bronze is basically all you need. Bronze, silver, that's all you need for it to activate, okay? It is a very good badge. You need chase an artist. And another must-have badge for C tier is rebound chaser, okay? So rebound chaser, this is basically, um, what is it? Hustle rebounder, bro. This is hustle rebounder from all the other years. This is how you get rebound animations, okay? So all you need is a 60 offensive or a 60 defensive rebound. Definitely need to equip this because this is probably one of the best badges on this list. Even though it is C tier, bro, you get so many animation rebound animations. That is why I always make a build with a 60 offensive or 60 defensive rebound. It is just like you need to have that, okay? Because you get so many rebound animations, okay? And you might not think, like, I even have this on my point guard, bro. It's the more you play the game, the more you realize that you actually can get a lot of board opportunities. So you need this badge on all your builds. Now for B tier badges, okay? So let's go over these. Anchor is one of the good ones. Guard up is one of the good ones. A movable enforcer is one of the good ones. Medi magician, open looks, and scooper is also very good. I do not have it sadly, but scooper is very good. So first off, we're gonna start with anchor, bro. Anchor increases a player's ability to block shots or protect the rim. So this is basically just how you guard shots around the rim. Okay, so if you're playing a post score, you need this badge. All you need is a 61 interior defense and a 77 block. Anchor is a must-have. No one will be able to score you in the paint. Now let's go around the brick wall. Okay, increases effectiveness of screens and drains energy from opponents. Okay, so when someone is back you down this basically uh, they change it from a moving enforcer but at the start of the year so when someone was back you down brick wall meant that they couldn't back you down the higher your brick wall was the harder it was to back you down so i had this on for post scores playing the stage but they changed that to a moving enforcer okay it improves a defensive player's strength when defending ball handlers and finished okay so a moving enforcer is a very good badge now brick wall is still very good but a moving enforcer is by far one of the best badges you can literally bump people on defense you get so many good animations just by literally sitting in front of them holding lt or l2 and just having them run into you you will bump them every play that badge is so broken that i'm not gonna lie that badge is probably better than clamps bro on defense that badge and moving forcer is probably better than clamps on defense yes that is how broken it really is guard up guard up doesn't activate that much people say but it increase the ability to make jump shots when the defender fail to properly contest okay so if the defender doesn't put their hand up or if they're a crab beside you you will make the shot every time they will not get a contest okay so i always advocate for guard up some people say it doesn't activate personally i think it activates a lot bro i'm not gonna lie i see it activate all the time so i would definitely put on guard up and mini magician bro mini magician silver boost the effectiveness of pull-ups and spin shots from the mid-range area okay so mini magician is difficult shots from all the other years that is how you make your mid-range fadeaways all that stuff open looks improves the player's ability to make wide open jump shots this is a must-have bro you need to have this badge maxed out okay always if you can i would always try to make a build that has a hall of fame or gold at least 90 mid-range for hall of fame 93 3 for hall of fame open looks is definitely one of the best badges in the game by far bro one of the best shooter badges period bro you'll make every open three and scooper improves the player's ability to make scoop layups scoop layups are very broken this year okay so if you are on a small guard this is for small guards only you don't really need it if you're a tall guard or small guards scooper is a must okay now let's go right to the a tier badges as you see bulldozer is very good improves a ball handler strength and overpowering defenders as you see i do have this badge floor set so it never goes down past silver this is very good it pushes defenders out the way when you're going for a layup it literally pushes them out the way you give them the shoulder like your zion bro big body you give them the shoulder you literally push them right out the way green machine once again gives an additional shot boost when consecutively achieving an excellent release of jump shots green machine by far one of the best on this make sure you have that and precision dunker bro i would floor set precision dunker to the highest you can get it whether it's gold silver hall of Fame, you need a floor set this to at least gold bro because it improves the player's ability to make skill dunks okay this is how you're going to use the dunk meter okay the higher you have this badge the more effective your dunk meter will be so you need to use precision dunker now let's get right into the s tier badges okay these are the best badges in the game blinders you need that catch and shoot you need that dead eye you need that handles for days you need that glove you need that fearless you need that interceptor posterizer um pluckable speed booster basically every single badge on this list is good okay the only ones that are bad are giant slayer blow by i don't see killer combos those are the only bad ones so all of these on the s tier these are all good they are s tier for a reason they are all probably the best in the game so make sure to try to max all of those out and those are the best badges that i would use partially for an iso build okay and these are the best dribble saves for a tall guard okay so if you want to go over these once again full tutorial bro i'll drop the dribble tutorial down below go watch that dribble tutorial right now it shows you how to do all these moves i'm about to show y'all because i'm not going to be going in a full in-depth dribble tutorial when i already made one on my page so go check these out these are the best drill moves i'll show y'all those and now let's get right to the art of shooting gym this gym gives you unlimited stamina you can really drill forever it is right here on the map so if you want it it is right there but yeah let's get right into this i you see i'm on my mid-range slasher iso build okay so i am on my iso build i'm gonna just show y'all a few of my favorite combos first off we're gonna start with a snatch back into like an lt or l2 okay so do you snatch back lt this is so simple but so effective bro once again this is all of my dribble tutorial bro these are probably the most effective moves to snatch back into the lt bro it is so glitchy bro you can get open so fast from it, it is very good also the misdirection in front misdirection in front 
and then into the misdirection behind the back okay so let me do a misdirection in front this is the misdirection in front this is what it looks like and you can also do a misdirection behind the back very good you could lt out of those just like that and you see once you really watch my dribble tutorial you learn all the moves you will literally be dribbling crazy just like this bro okay the lt cancel is probably the main thing on this list bro that is probably the best thing in the game i'm not gonna lie lt cancel is by far one of the best things in the game because you need to learn how to lt cancel i'll link it down below the dribble tutorial and the short okay i have a full short going over it how to lt cancel so if you want to learn under 60 seconds watch that short bro but yeah once again we have all these different dribble moves momentums bro you can do everything cancel lt the move the best move by far on this is the jamal murray behind the back bro the jamal murray behind the back is by far the best move on this list look it literally just insta stops you you run to one side insta stops you brings you back bro insta stops you brings you back bro so yeah those are the best dribble moves on this list bro it has been 2k made aqua i really appreciate y'all for still rocking me bro and that is all for me once again make sure to turn on my notes and drop my bangers all year all 2k24 but that is all for me this is 2k made aqua and i'm signing out peace with y'all boys